Hi everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. If you're watching this video, it's probably because you have registered for my Flipped Resources Made Easily workshop. And what we'll be doing in that workshop is going through and learning how to use a tool called Camtasia that allows you to develop your own learning objects uh, really, really simply. Now to get access to this, um, you can visit techsmith.com and up the top there is a products tab. You want to click on the Camtasia. You can get a 30 day full featured trial version, which I, which is what I would recommend for this particular workshop. You can purchase it if you do want to, it's 199 US, but I would go through that. Click on free trial, choose whether you want Windows or Mac. I will be using the Windows version in the workshop, but my understanding is that the functionality is the same. Choose your version, go through the process to download that. Once you have downloaded Camtasia and you have installed it, you will need to open up Camtasia 9, which is the current version. And what you get when you've done that is this screen here. This is the starting point, and this allows you to choose straight away whether you want to just go in and have a new project and you can drop in some assets that you've already got, whether you want to make a new recording uh, or whether you want to open a project that you've been working on. If you click on new recording, what you get is the screen recording option down in the bottom right hand corner here that you can see on my screen. It does give you the option to record with your webcam. Uh, because my webcam is already in use, it's not available at the moment. Um, you can choose whether you want to rec record the full screen, whether you just want to record a particular part of the screen, lock it to an application. You've got a range of options there. And then once you hit the record button, you'll get a 3, 2, 1 countdown, and then it will be live and you can start going. Once you've made the recording, once you're happy with it, you hit the stop button. And at that point, it will load into Camtasia itself, and that recording will appear by default just here in the media bin, and then also on the timeline itself. Now, in terms of the really basic function, which is what we're going to go through in here, the timeline here, you'll see the webcam and the your voice will be one track, and the screen capture, whatever's on your computer screen, will be a separate track. This allows you to very easily edit uh, what's happening. If you want to add in an additional video, music, uh, images, you click on the plus symbol just here and find where that media sits or import from Google Drive. And then there's a range of editing options here. I would encourage you between now and uh, FlipCon to spend some time practicing recording uh, some content, uh, perhaps record some raw content ready to go, and then we'll be going through the editing process in a bit more detail in the workshop. You will need for the uh, workshop at FlipCon, you will need to have a piece of video that you can use or that you are going to use to edit. Whether that is a recording of you uh, teaching a lesson and it's, uh, you've you know, used the screen capture feature or whether you've got a, a video that you've done in the past, doesn't really matter too much, but you'll need to have a video of some description or a project that you can uh, go through to edit so that we can go through each of the different features and how they work. There are also plenty of tutorial videos on YouTube uh, that cover different bits and pieces. Just be aware, the current version is Camtasia 9, and just make sure that the tutorial that you are watching on YouTube, if you do go down that road, uh, is for the current version and not one of the older ones. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you at FlipCon.